Welcome back to my Boston series. Today we are doing a self-guided walking tour of the Freedom Trail. We are now walking towards the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, erected in the memory of Massachusetts soldiers and sailors who died in the American Civil War. The Freedom Trail is a 2.5 mile long path through Boston, Massachusetts that passes by 16 locations significant to the history of the United States. Marked largely with brick, it winds from Boston Common in downtown Boston through the North End to the Bunker Hill Monument in Charlestown. This is the Massachusetts State House. It is the state capital and seat of government for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This is the King's Chapel Burying Ground, a historic graveyard established in 1630. It is the oldest graveyard in the city. Despite its name, the graveyard predates the adjacent King's Chapel. According to custom, the first interment was that of the land's original owner, Isaac Johnson. It was Boston's only burial site for 30 years, 1630 to 1660, after being unable to locate land elsewhere. Boston's old city hall was home to its city council from 1865 to 1969. It was one of the first buildings in the second French Empire style to be built in the United States. Built as a Puritan meeting house in 1729, Old South Meeting House stands today as one of the nation's most important colonial sites. One of the country's first public historic conservation efforts and one of the earliest museums of American history. Old State House. Built in 1713, it was the seat of the Massachusetts General Court until 1798 and is one of the oldest public buildings in the United States. It is the oldest surviving public building in Boston and now serves as a history museum. This cobblestone circle beneath the old state house balcony marks the site of the 1770 Boston Massacre. The incident began with local boys taunting a British sentry on a cold marsh night. Often referred to as the home of free speech and the cradle of liberty, Faneuil Hall hosted America's first town meeting. The hall's vital role in revolutionary politics had not been part of its original plans, but it became home to an intricate collection of events that shaped the nation's history.
Now we are heading inside Quincy Market. It is a historic market complex just across Fenuel Hall. It was constructed in 1824 to 26 and named in honor of Mayor Josiah Quincy, who organized its construction without any tax or debt. The market is a designated National Historic Landmark and a designated Boston Landmark in 1996. Significant as one of the largest market complexes built in the United States in the first half of the 19th century. This is my favorite market thus far, offering a variety of food stalls and a great spot to try out loads of different cuisine. It's very touristy and very busy, but is part of the charm and is a great spot to hang out and people watch and be entertained by the street artists. Just about a five minute walk, we decided to have dinner at Union Oyster House. Union Oyster House, open to diners since 1826. It is amongst the oldest operating restaurants in the United States. And the oldest known that has been continuously operating since being opened. The restaurant has had a number of famous people in history as diners, including the Kennedy family and Daniel Webster. Perhaps most surprisingly, in 1796, Louis Philippe, King of France from 1830 to 1848, lived in exile on the second floor. The Kennedy clan has patronized the Union Oyster House for years. JFK loved to feast in privacy in the upstairs dining room. The Kennedy booth has since been dedicated in his memory. Overall, this place was a cool experience. I loved reading about the history and the inside is decorated so cool and really represents so many of the highlights of Boston. Definitely a must visit. Bell in Hand Tavern, the oldest bar in Massachusetts and has kept its original name and is a dedicated bar rather than an inn with a tavern. The tavern poured its first ale in 1795, 
that makes it the oldest bar or tavern in America. Paul Revere House was built around 1680. The Paul Revere House, owned by the legendary Patriot from 1770 to 1800, is the oldest remaining structure in downtown Boston and also the only official Freedom Trail historic site that is a home. I am walking around the north end looking for dessert and of course we can't leave Boston without trying their famous cannoli. Founded in 1946, Mike's Pastry is located in the Boston's historic North End on Hanover Street. Mike created the one-of-a-kind cannoli that keeps loyal Bostonians and tourists coming from around the world to enjoy. Just a few steps, you'll reach Paul Revere Mall. The mall features an equestrian statue of Paul Revere. Additionally, there are 13 plaques commemorating various Boston residents mounted along the Prado's brick walls. The statue of Revere is one of the most photographed sculptures in Boston. Just across the mall is the Old North Church. Established in 1723 as Christ Church in the city of Boston. It is the oldest church building and the longest serving Episcopal congregation in the city. That is all for now. Please watch out for the next walking tour of Boston. And don't forget to follow my Instagram page to get updates. See you soon.